Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me for today's video. So I just wanted to quickly pop on here first before we start the tutorial just to quickly show you the album we're going to be making today. This is uh, using the Finding Paradise paper collection from Dovecraft and I do have a discount code for this collection. I will pop that here and all the links for that uh, discount code and things that I've used today will also be linked down below. So this is what we're making today. I show you exactly step by step on how to make this too. So let's jump straight in. Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a really easy envelope mini album. It's so easy to put together and I'll be showing you how to do that step by step. And this is the beautiful collection that I'm going to be using today. So Craft Label got in touch with me and they wanted to send me some things to use in my videos so this is the first collection here this is finding paradise and i'm really excited to work with this one i love dovecraft and i've i've been using dovecraft for a very 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 long time and look at these gorgeous papers here they are so pretty and vibrant and summery so this is going to make an excellent mini album and then I also have all of these other accessories we have rub-ons we have stamps we have frames we have um, puffy foam stickers we have washi tape look at these these are really vibrant pink here some little mini pegs there and we have sentiment toppers some shaped gems there these are a lovely red color and we have some more toppers here these are character toppers and then we have some alphabets which is absolutely perfect for your mini albums and adding your personalization and names and other bits titles even okay so i'm going to pop all this to the side and i'm going to show you the other thing that we're going to be using today we need some cards and envelopes so these are the dovecraft five by seven cards and envelopes these have been in my stash for quite a while now so i'm happy to be using these today again this is um acid free all of these papers are also acid free and i'm also going to be using acid free glue so everything is photo safe okay so we're going to be starting off with six envelopes and six card bases two three four five six as you can tell if you're going to be using these just for mini albums you're going to be able to make an awful lot of um, books out of this and I'm also going to need six of these cards as well one two three four five six so first off start off by folding on the score line here use a bone folder as well just to crease down all of your cards now if I need to cut any extra um, white card stock I'm going to go back into the card pack and use that if I need to use it for mats or anything like that because then I know the white from the mats will match the white base papers so I'm not going to go into my stash because there's so many different shades of white um, available and all of my different um, white card stocks that are all different shades of white because I have I have many from different companies so for this one I'm just going to keep it everything the same I'm going to stick with the same white okay so those are all now folded we can set those aside so let's move on to the basic page assemblies so I think I might just get my darker cutting mat here because we're on a light background there we go you might have a better idea of what I'm doing now there we go a little bit of contrast there okay so we're going to be gluing these together head to head and we're also going to leave a gap here where there's going to be no glue now um, I do have an example here of another um, album this is another one we're going to be making today this is why we're going to have this gap here because it gives a little bit of expansion room as we fill up the album so that is a really good little secret there to avoid the kind of the full mouth crocodile effect when you have so much in your album that it just it's just forced open all the time it doesn't close properly I mean I do actually quite like that look as well but this is how to avoid the crocodile mouth look so I'm putting my glue along here I'm leaving a gap I'm not being too straight or anything like that it doesn't have to be perfect 
and adding glue all the way around the just around the rest of the envelope there and then I'm just going to pop this on top straighten everything up this is really important make sure everything is straight and then I'm going to press down then I'm going to lift it up just to make sure that nothing's glued itself together so let's press these together like that and there we have something that now looks like that so let's do the rest on let's do some more on the rest get the vocabulary right okay so do exactly the same on these two and on the next two okay so here we have our three signatures done so this is going to be our entire album and um, this is going to be the front this is going to be the back and we're going to layer up the front and the back just to make it a little bit more sturdy so i'm now going to move on to decorating the album before we start gluing things together and you're also going to be needing a round punch here i'm using a one inch round punch as well i need to use that after we've done our matting and layering okay so let's pop these aside we're going to work on the first one first just one at a time i'm just looking for my papers i've pre-cut some already so i have here two different sizes and don't worry about writing anything down there is a link it will take you straight to my website and there's a cutting guide there along with this video and all of the um, supplies that I've used today so everything is in one place so the link will be down below okay so the first lot of page mats for the actual envelopes measure five by seven and then we have page mats for the actual card bases those measure four and three quarters by six and three quarters and then we're going to do some inserts as well but I will give you more measurements when we get to that point so let's choose our papers now so these are going to fit on here just like that and what we're going to do is we're only going to add glue along this section here around here and on the outside of the envelope this bit here this is going to form part of our pocket so that is going to um it needs to be glue free basically and we're just gonna add a bit of glue there just to stop the um the insert coming out the other end so before we do that i'm going to grab my paper trimmer and then we're just going to cut the ends off here so just make sure you have it the right way around so we have our glue here and I'm just going to cut just a slither that's what I'll be cutting off and then we have pocket pages there now and it's always best to um, cut this off once you have your signatures popped together because then it's just going to be a more, more even cut then and you're not going to get odd sized pages again just make sure you have it the right way round there we go we can get rid of those okay so now we can start doing our page mats so I'm going to pop that there and I'm going to try and find a nice contrasting pattern I like to mix up some of these patterns and these are upside down so the flamingos would go well with that so do yourself a, a dry run first just to see how things go okay I li I'm liking those two together and if you want to pair things off beforehand you can do so we have lemons here we have the flamingos there I like that one these two look good together okay so I've mostly paired everything off now so I'm going to be popping them on in this order so where's my glue it's right underneath the paper right so as I said try and keep this area here as clear as possible so you only need a line of glue down that side so on our paper I need to put the glue down here I'm just going to go all the way around the perimeter that would be easier 
and then I'm going to just add some glue just in the center there and then stick that down okay and now do the same for the other side Okay, so now for this little bit in the middle, grab yourself a card base and it's just so easy. We're just going to add glue all on the inside there and we're going to pop that on that section just like that. So that is going to become another page. Okay, so I'm going to slide this up to where it folds here and then I'm going to press it all down and then before I make any commitments I'm just going to make sure that there's an even space at the top and the bottom and that I can fold it over and there is our centre page. Now if you want to you can keep this clear um, and wait for, you, for decorating and things like that or we can go ahead and do some mats. So I have the larger mats up here and down here I have the smaller ones, the ones that measured four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So I'm gonna put the flamingos there Again, you can save popping on the mats for these cards afterwards, but you do need to get the mats down on the envelopes before we move on to the next stage. So I'm just gonna quickly show you this little section first. So I'm thinking the lemons would look good here too. That would look good. I think I might go with the lemons. Oh no. You see, when I come to edit this, I'll know exactly what paper I should have used. It always looks a little bit different a little bit later. I'm watching it on a screen. Okay, so there is our next one done. Again, this will be absolutely perfect for just sticking a full photograph on there if you didn't want to go down the paper route and you had some large photographs or the normal six by four photographs to add onto there that would that would go really well okay so now we need to grab a little circle punch here and all we're going to do is on the part that has the paper on we're going to go in halfway like that and make a little thumb hole so that when we have our insert in there, see we have a full pocket in there now. When that goes in, it's gonna be really easy to grab the piece of paper, but we're not going all the way through to the other side. We're just doing it where it's matted. So this is why it's important to get your papers down first. There we go, there is our first one done. Now do exactly the same on the other two and then we'll be ready to pop this thing together. Okay, so I've got all of my pages and the page mats popped in and I've got them in the order that I want the book to flow in. So this is gonna be my back, middle and front. So let's get these glued together. So we're gonna be gluing these together back to back like that.
Okay, so I'm just also making sure that I've glued everything on the right way around and nothing's back to front and that everything is lined up. So use your surface here and your hands just to make sure that everything is straight. Okay, so as you can see, we have this expansion room here. And then we have our album that is now almost done. So um, let's work on the front and the back covers. So I do have some spare extras here left over from my cutting. However, I did keep some aside as well that I would like to use for my front. So if I have a really nice idea that I want to do on the front, I always put my paper aside for the front before I start cutting into the page mats. Okay, so let's get this layered up. So I'm thinking I'm going to have a layer of this paper here and I'm going to layer it again on some white card and then I'm going to add another mat of the parrots. So let's cut this down. I'm going to cut this one down to five by seven. That's going to be the first mat. And then I'm going to grab one of my page, sorry, my card bases and I'm going to cut that. Let's grab the ruler. I haven't made, I haven't forward planned this bit yet so I'm going to probably cut that round about four by five and a half. going to go on just like that so now I just need a mat for that one so four by five and a half we need to take a quarter of an inch of that measurement so that's three and three quarters and remember this is this pattern has an orientation so I'm being mindful of that one so that's five and a half so that's five and a quarter now that should give us the mat the correct size there to mat that on there. There we go, and that's going to go on there. And then we can pop that on our front cover. That is going to go on just like that. And if you want to add ribbon, now is the time something I do wish I had was some bright pink ribbon but I'm going to go with this ivory colour. I'm going to pop that on my shopping list for some bright pink ribbon. Okay so the easiest thing to do here is just measure your length. I'm going to go for around about 10 inches maybe 12. I'm going to get two identical lengths If you want to, you can grab a lighter and just um, melt just the edges there to stop the fray or you can add some glue to the ends. And the way I stop my ribbon from unrolling is just using an elastic band like that and that stops that. Keeps it nice and tidy. So I'm going to grab some red tape now. Red tape would be the easiest thing to use. I'm going to put a line just there. This is getting very gunky. I need to clean my scissors, so I have I have some surgical spirit that I can use. Okay, so press that down, that's going to push all the stickiness right into the paper. And it also makes it super easy for you to lift the backing off. 
Okay, so grab your ribbon and pop that on. Turn you over and do exactly the same. I'm just going to try my best there to line up the ribbon. I have got a little bit of stickiness there, but that's fine. We're going to be covering that. So make sure you haven't got your book upside down like I have. Turn it round. So that's one um, handy tip there. Always check where you are with your book and that it's not upside down so you're not doing half a book the right way around and the other half upside down because, yeah, I have done that before. And sometimes you can rescue them and sometimes you just have to start again. Okay, so if you want to make this super sturdy, you can even mat with a different with a different colour. White wouldn't go with this because you've got the white background of the envelope. But if you wanted to mat this one, I would choose a coordinating cardstock colour to add that on. Okay, right, I'm going to add this to the mat first. And then I'm going to use some foam pads just to give the book a little bit of dimension, just for the front cover. So that is going to go on here. Let's grab some, I'm going to grab a new pack. Let's get that glued down. Okay, we are on the home run now. This is really coming together. And I've only spent just over half an hour putting this together. Um, I've sped a few things up for you guys and cut a few bits out where I'm repeating myself. So for you, it's a little bit shorter, but for me, it's 33 minutes in so far. And that's going pretty well. So I'm going to have a quick tidy up and then we can do the inserts and then work on some of the decorating. Okay, so I'm going to quickly make this in the insert. So I have the other three of the card bases and I'm just going to cut these down just in half. And I will have to cut a little bit extra on here because we have the line of glue going through there so let's pop this in and then I know how much to cut off okay so it sticks out round about that much so I'm going to take round about maybe a quarter of an inch and then we'll test it and because we've the nature of the glue being put on manually some of these might be larger pockets some of them might be smaller pockets so just test each one as you go along and you can just custom cut them custom cut them yep that sounds strange but i believe that's the right vocab so that is going to go in like that and then we can put a page mat on there I do have quite a few off cuts, so some of these are for the smaller ones, some of these are for the larger ones, I think, is that a larger one? Yes, that is a large, oh that looks good, oh, I'm going to glue that together, that's going to be an insert, I just need to cut that down to size, um, let's see if we can think of any more combos, that's going to look good as well. Yep, I'll do that one. And that is also going to look good too. Are these the same size? I'm going to make these super sturdy and I'm going to glue this onto there. I just need to trim off a quarter of an inch and then trim this down to size and then on the 
front you could add a photo and on the back I'm going to leave it white and then you can also use this for journaling and bits and bobs like that. Okay so let's get that trimmed down to size. Okay so um, I've got everything now matted, I've got all of my mats here and remember um, the cutting guide is, down, is linked down below. So I went for a few different styles there, I've got one that's divided, you can do different increments there, one full page and then the rest are matted and they're all mounted onto white cardstock so there's a place here for journaling or extra photographs so there's so much room in this mini album for photographs and popping in all of your memories so let's fill up everything this looks better like that I think than that way okay so all of my little mats and uh, inserts are all in if you want to you can even add just a tab of ribbon there just to help you pull them in and out you can just put that on with a staple a stapler okay so I've got all of these goodies here now that I can start to use for adding some lovely decorations so there's so much to choose from here so I'm just gonna do a couple of pages and the front cover just to give you some rough ideas and um, if you want you can also pop in some blank um, white page mats too uh, just so that you know where to put the photographs okay so I'm, I am going to make some uh, photo mats here just to play with so I'm going to go with a 4x4 four four here and what does this measure this measures a 3x4 that is perfect so four by four and then that will give you a three by four okay and one other essential that I love to use in all of my albums is a little stamp that says place photo here this is from simply made crafts it's the album collection stamp set and it's this little one here that says place photo here that makes it super easy especially if you're giving this away as a gift people know where to pop their photographs again this would look good on in landscape as well this this lives on this block by the way I never take it off I never do okay so let's get these ready so we can have place photo here we can we can tilt it slightly we can keep it straight I'm thinking I'm just going to take over a lot of that area there so let's get that glued down and again because I've used the cardstock that comes with the envelope pack it's all acid free so this is all going to be photo safe and then if you wanted to use a tape runner I would use something acid free as well or you can use the wet glue that's acid free on directly onto your photographs I think this, this is dot and dab I think this is acid free I will double check okay so I'm ready now to add an embellishment or two so I'm going to open up this pack first this is the sentiment toppers and I'm going to make a huge mess now doing this and I'm going to pop on this one that says lovely times and I'm going to pop it right in the top corner just there so there's there's room under there to then slide your photograph underneath and I'm also going to put it this side because it's going to give our book room to close properly here if that makes sense there we go and I've got room down here for another cluster of embellishments so you can use washi tape the washi tape will look better on against white cardstock and it'll be the same for the rub-ons as well because they're semi transparent and I'm going to open up this pack here I haven't actually had a look inside yet so let's take these out so we have this topper here that blends in 
so we won't be using green on green here we have the tiger here we have a flamingo that's gonna look nice oh and we also have this here there we go I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to add a foam tab just there I've used them all up again grab another strip these are quite chunky so this is going to fill our book up pretty fast using bulky items but I'm going to pop that down there so I can still pop my photo on there there we go I'm going to pop that there okay so I'm going to leave this I think this would look good here as well though add a photo there this would also look good as a title page as well so um, I'm going to leave that that's going to be something I'm going to think about so let's turn over and I'm going to use one of these photo frames and if you wanted to um, these are all the same pattern but if you really wanted to you can glue this onto glue the front onto a piece of any of this pattern paper here to match and then just get a, a, a craft knife and then cut it out and then you have different shades then that's going to look good there so I'm going to pop that and I'm only going to because I haven't put my photos in yet normally you would add your photo behind it and then you'd glue it down but I've not done that because I haven't got my photos so I'm just going to add glue just to that bottom section and then I'm going to pop that there so that's going to be able to be lifted up so I can slide my photo in and then I can glue the rest of it down once my photo is in place now I may even have enough room for two of these so you could actually pop two there which that's exactly what I'm going to do it doesn't matter if they overlap or anything like that because I think that just adds to the layered look and it looks pretty cool I quite like that and then there is probably room in here for another embellishment um, but first I'm just going to pop another one here and what I will do is I would like to keep a white border around my photograph so I'll print a photograph off with a white border or I will cut it down to three and three quarters by three and three quarters and that will give me the border all the way around so let's see if I can oh, we'll use one of these puffy stickers I think again keep all this in a little box so it's ready to go when you do your photographs I think this parrot will look nice just along here I got a little trick here I am thinking that's why I went silent just then this tail might be a problem for when I add my photograph underneath so I'm just gonna grab my my little um, embossing powder tool here the anti-static one and I'm just gonna dab this on to make this bit non-sticky and then that will now not <clears throat> interfere with the bottom section here so he's gonna sit there just like that nice and nicely and the tails not gonna get in the way there we go sticky gone okay so I'm gonna add something here as well because I know I'm going to want something pretty there so I'm going to pop that there again same trick that's going to go onto the photograph so I'm just going to lose the sticky just on that part and then pop that on there we go there's room there now for me to add my photograph so this is coming together really nicely now this does seem really really busy however once you pop your photograph in there it really does it will it will really make a difference to that busyness so don't be afraid of that things will always look a little bit different once you add your photographs 
so um, I've done those two I'm gonna quickly do the the front cover now and then I'll be right back to give you a tour of the whole album okay so I'm more or less finished with this one now I've decorated it to the point where I'm happy um, before I add my photos so I'll add my photos and journaling and then I have all of these leftovers and rub-ons and the letter stickers here and I've just dropped the pegs on the floor but I have added some pegs in there I've made a huge mess but anyway let's just brush that aside we'll tidy that up later so here is my finished envelope album I've decorated the front I've recovered the the frame with some um, matching paper from the pack and I've added loads of stuff inside as well so it is still doing that bit of a crocodile mouth there however we do have the expansion room here and you can already see it's trying to take advantage of that with the bulky stuff inside so here we have some uh, photo mats here you saw me decorate that and that goes over there that's ready for our photographs I've popped a peg in here to help us pull out our um, slidey mat there but there is another one on the other side so I didn't add two because it's quite bulky you can always add your thumb hole in different places if you wanted to add pegs to that you can even glue the, um, the pegs down as well okay so I have a photo more photo mats here I've made a few more and the peg unpegs this photo mat you can have both of them pegged at the top if you wish to and we have another photo mat there and another slidey out mat more photo mats so I've decorated a little bit less here because I want to know what photographs that I'm going to be using and there we have our last mat inside there i'm gonna I think i'm gonna have to pop a little something in there to help me get that one out well, there we go so that is the envelope album made using the dovecraft finding paradise collection and the dovecraft five by seven envelopes and card bases so this is a really super easy and quick album that you can put together and I really want to thank um, Trimcraft for sending me all this beautiful beautiful goodies and I can't wait to work on my next one so give me a thumbs up the um, cutting guide is down below click on the link it will take you there and I'll see you again in my next video